dear students let us to continue the remaining questions on electric current okay the question is define mobility so this question asked in march 2014 july 2017 as well as march 2017 so mobility is defined as the magnitude of drift velocity per unit electric field okay if you apply the unit electric field to the conductor so the drift velocity itself is the mobility clear so or we can write mobility mu e equal to magnitude of drift velocity divided by electric field that is e clear okay the si unit of mobility see as we have discussed mobility means drift velocity divided by electric field so the unit of drift velocity is meter per second divided by volt per meter meter per second divided by volt per meter itself is meter square per volt per second is it clear so meter square per volt per second so now the question is write the factors on which the mobility of a charge carrier depends <coughs> the temperature okay the temperature plays very important role on the mobility of charge carriers okay next one is the next question is define temperature coefficient of resistivity see temperature coefficient is the fractional change in resistance per unit degree celsius okay so there is delta r by r upon delta t or 1 upon r dr by dt you can say okay so the answer is fractional change in resistivity per unit rise in temperature okay next write the si unit of temperature coefficient of resistivity it is per kelvin okay if the question is write the unit of temperature coefficient of resistivity means per temperature if you express the temperature in terms of degree centigrade and we will get the unit of temperature coefficient of resistivity as per degree centigrade okay if the temperature is expressed in terms of kelvin then we will get per kelvin is it clear okay so the next question is write the expression for ohmic loss in a conductor carrying current and having resistance ohmic loss means the loss of electrical energy in the form of heat so that is p equal to i square into r cleared so what is emf of a cell so the potential difference between the terminals of a cell when the cell is in open circuit clear write the si unit of emf of a cell write the si unit of emf of a cell 
it is old because we are measuring potential difference between positive and negative terminal of the cell when the cell is not in use or the circuit is open means we are not drawing any current from that cell so the potential difference itself is the emf okay and the unit of potential difference is old so hence the unit of emf that is electromotive force is old define internal resistance of a cell the resistance offered by the cell to the current through it okay to the flow of current through it and use it in the symbol small r clear okay the next question define terminal potential so the terminal potential is same as the emf but the difference is you have to measure the potential difference between positive and negative terminal of the cell when the cell is in use or the circuit is closed okay the potential difference between the terminals of a cell when the cell is in a closed circuit clear okay the next question write the expression for the potential difference the terminals of a cell of emf e and internal resistance r so v equal to e minus ir where v is the terminal potential e is the emf and i is the current and r is the r is the resistance internal resistance okay make it a small r okay what is a node or a junction in an electric network node or junction means it is a point okay it is a point in a network where more than two currents meet so more than two means minimum three remember the next question is write the condition for balanced wetstones network okay so we can write p by q equal to r by s or r1 by r2 equal to r3 by r4 where r1 r2 r3 r4 are connected in cyclic order if you write p by q equal to r by s p q r s are the resistances which are connected in cyclic order okay next question is what is meter bridge what is meter bridge it is a practical form of whetstone network next write the principle of meter bridge this meter bridge works on the principle of a balanced whetstone bridge clear Okay, take it once again all the question and write down the all the questions along with their answers properly. State and explain Ohm's law. The current through the conductor is directly proportional. to the potential difference applied across its ends provided the temperature and other physical conditions of the conductor remain constant that is v proportional to i so further we can write v by i is constant and that constant is r 
later we can write v equal to ir okay is it clear okay mention two limitations of ohm's law so this question is very important asked in uh, many question paper so first one is ohm's law is valid if temperature and other physical quantities or conditions remains constant and second one is it is not applicable to semiconductors ohm's law is not applicable to semiconductors because if you draw the graph of potential difference versus current okay we are not getting a straight line for semiconductors okay but we'll get the straight line for conductors if the temperature and other physical conditions are kept constant so then it is valid okay and one more thing you have to remember if the device is which obeys the ohm's law called as ohmic device if the devices which are not obey the ohm's law such devices are called as non ohmic devices mention the factors on which resistance of a conductor depends length of a conductor okay r is proportional to l and r is inversely proportional to area okay simply you have to remember r equal to resistance r equal to resistivity into length divided by area clear okay mention the two factors affecting the electric resistivity of a material the nature of the material and second one is temperature clear okay so the question is state kirchhoff's first rule write its significance kirchhoff's first rule is same as kirchhoff's current rule or kirchhoff's current law okay the question may be state kirchhoff's first rule kirchhoff's current rule or kirchhoff's first law or kirchhoff's current law okay the answer is same at any junction in any electric network the sum of the current entering the junction is equal to the sum of current leaving the junction significance is law of conservation of charge law of conservation of charge next question is state kirchhoff's second rule or kirchhoff's voltage rule or kirchhoff's voltage law and write its significance the algebraic sum of the sum of changes in potential difference the algebraic sum of the changes in potential difference across any closed loop involving resistors and cells in a loop is zero okay so these are the questions 
okay in next class we have to discuss the remaining questions okay thank you